I have no idea what you guys have been up to here, Pisces, okay? But I gotta tell you, there's such a powerful energy that's not just surrounding you right now. This feels like an energy that you are cultivating from within yourself. And whatever it is that you've been up to, Pisces, I gotta tell you, not only am I enjoying this energy, but I'm picking up that your higher self and the universe are really resonating with you, really resonating with your vibration, and really resonating with some sort of intention or intentions that you are setting. I know that we're asking about exes and nexus, but honestly, Pisces, if you were, if I was to ask you in this energy, who are you preferring to come towards you? I would say that right now you're not even looking for anybody from your past to come back it to come back in towards you. It's almost like an energy of this in this eight of pentacles of you quite literally just turning your back on the energies of your past. Not necessarily in a negative way because we do have the high priestess here. It's almost like you're just coming to your own resolution as an individual when it comes to your connections from your past. You're choosing to forgive the people that need to be forgiven. But I'm also picking up a very strong energy of letting bygones be bygones and not carrying any resentments into this new powerful manifestation that I see you pulling in towards you. Because I don't know if you're consciously doing this, Pisces. In fact, I do feel that a lot of you are quite in your conscious energy as you create all of these shifts and changes. But I do pick up very strongly that your higher self is in very strong dialogue right now with the universe very clear dialogue about this next cycle that you're manifesting. I'm picking up a very strong energy of not just certainty, clarity and confidence, but it's almost like a surety is surrounding you right now Pisces where you've learned all the lessons that you're supposed to learn especially when it comes to love and relationships when it comes to all of those lessons you now know exactly what you don't want Pisces and are now in the perfect energy to communicate clearly with the universe about what it is that you do want Pisces so I honestly feel like a lot of you you're not looking back in fact I wouldn't even say that right now you're in an energy of trying to find love it's just this beautiful energy within you of coming to balance healing cleansing and clearing as you do all of this clearing with the page of swords you come into alignment with the things that are for your highest good and i pick up very strongly that one of the things that are coming in with this eight of pentacles is a very very powerful connection pisces possibly a divine counterpart with that high priestess but i feel like right now I don't know why I get this energy that a lot of you aren't even bothered about love. Right now you are focused on manifesting your own stability or like I said before, creating healing for yourself. But as you create this healing, as you create balance, you just lift your vibration and all sorts of powerful things come towards you. And I promise you, Pisces, I don't know why intuitively. I just pick up that in one of those cups, in one of those little bowls there that the universe is bringing towards you is a big old cup of love okay so let me get some clarifications i don't know why i'm picking up such a strong energy here as well pisces there could be a small group of you in fact it might not be that small since this is pisces you guys are a little bit you guys are very magicianish, you know, you guys tend to work with the energies that are surrounding you and there could be a small group of you who right now are possibly casting spells. Um, I'm not sure why I got that message so strong. If you're not casting spells, I think that this energy that of magic that I'm feeling is that right now you are in such high alignment that the things that come towards you and manifest in your life will come towards you almost as if by magic okay so i don't know if you are casting spells something in this energy especially with this eight of pentacles and like all of these cards if i'm being honest all of these cards kind of come towards me as 
digging deep and using literally the energies that are around you to shift the energies that you want in your life does that make sense pisces so there could be some of you right now are casting love spells energy spells cleansing spells rituals to possibly just clear your path tap into your higher self whatever that what whatever it is pisces it's lifting your vibration and it's working okay i can't explain to you the energy that i'm picking up off these cards it's like there's so much of a beautiful vibration surrounding you but because you're so focused on your inward changes you're so focused on creating balance inside yourself i don't even think you see all the shifts and changes that are happening around you it's really strange i know this is supposed to be an x or next reading but i'm just picking up that mm -mm. This just had to be the message that comes through because totally Pisces, it's clear that love is coming in. I can definitely pick that up as one of the manifestations of these pentacles. But I also feel like it's more than that, Pisces. It's like you're manifesting stability in your finances. You're manifesting stability as an individual, how you see yourself, um, the thought patterns that you go through, um, your confidence level as well. I just feel like you're cutting away um, your blockages. Does that make sense, Pisces? And with cutting away blockages, unfortunately, that means cutting away a lot of the people from your past past but i don't think that there's any like it's almost like you're not doing it with any grudges um, i'm not picking up any maliciousness there's no bad intention it's almost like you're just clearing the space for what the universe is preparing for you you're trusting deeply that what's coming towards you is for you and for your highest good and now it's almost like you're just letting the universe do the rest because you've done the work is what I'm getting here, Pisces. Wow. Please let me know in the comments below. What have you guys been up to? It might not even be like spell casting. Pisces, you guys are such a powerful sign. This could just be you tapping into your spirituality through prayer, through meditation, yoga, lighting candles, um, carrying crystals with you. I just feel like you're going back to energy. Does that make sense? Because that's where you're your most powerful um, and that's where you communicate the clearest with the universe <sighs> if you're not casting spells pisces i'm not saying go out there and i'll learn how to cast spells but i would actually really recommend that you write down a list of exactly who it is that you're looking for not just what they look like physically visually but how they make you feel what they bring to your life are they intellectual is that what that page of swords indicates or is that page of swords them making you laugh all the time does that page of swords indicates travel are they a teacher are they a parent write it all down are they as spiritual as you put down what star sign they are what age they are but then also have this energy of i've written down what i want but you're not going to hold on too tightly to that so that when the universe brings you what it deems is right for you you take what is right for you and then i think that not everything on the list is going to be in that person i mean nothing's that magical but i do feel like you guys are going to find something or someone that's damn close to a list if you do write a list okay there's powerful energies of manifestation your higher self and communication with the universe okay um writing is a very powerful energy guys if that doesn't work for you just find some way of telling the universe what you're looking for whether it's visualization i don't know why i keep getting that message so strongly <laughs> but let's get into some clarifications my beautiful pisces let's see what's coming in very interesting energies for an ex or next i haven't even gotten into your ex or your next it's just your energy right now so powerful but hey who cares <laughs> all about oh my god i knew it 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 pisces i kept saying there's love in this energy i can't see it but i can feel it and i think maybe i can't i couldn't see it before because you're not you look at this high priestess her eyes are completely closed look at the eight of pentacles her back is turned look at the page of uh swords her eyes are looking down so i just feel like right now pisces 
you're not it's not that you're not looking for love obviously if you met someone you'd be more than open to it but i just feel like right now you're in a cycle of self-love that's where your focus is and that's where the universe wants you to continue to focus your energy continue to uh, build something within yourself or something external maybe there's a passion project that you've been working on maybe some of you have gone back to school it's definitely being encouraged whatever you're doing that's pouring more into you the individual it is being encouraged let me remove that crystal so you can see what the cards are saying uh, but as once again i get this energy as as pisces pours more into themselves as pisces heals and aligns things start to come in pisces things that you not even looking for right now expecting it's almost like things that were out of your reach before come into alignment because you've come into alignment the things that come into alignment pisces beyond them just being you more being more stable as an individual your reality feeling more stable maybe your finances being more stable i feel like love and relationships pisces are finally going to start to be more stable not just romantic but with your friends with your family but most importantly with yourself okay the words that you say to yourself how you perceive yourself for some of you also maybe knowing your value that's not settling in love is one of the lessons that you had to learn now that you've learned them you meet a divine counterpart okay but something about this pisces is just once again it feels like it's the universe that's cooking this up the universe is doing this beyond there on the horizon as you focus in on yourself i don't want to say don't try and find love i mean obviously you're not going to meet this king of swords sitting on the couch in your pajamas one of you might it might be a pizza delivery guy you know but most of you are going to meet this person by leaving the house uh by making sure you look really good by and i'm not i'm not saying like in a shallow way guys but you need to be in alignment does that make sense if you're looking for someone who who has their stuff together baths every morning and smells fresh and their hair is all good then you might have to start bathing every morning go cut your hair make sure that you get that nice fresh perfume you know um go out and mingle with your friends in places that you don't usually you might just meet someone very different with that two of cups but there's definitely an energy brewing someone coming in that the universe is cooking up is this energy i keep seeing it's like the universe is quite literally making this person for you pisces as strange and as powerful as that sounds here's this energy <laughs> sorry i'm all over the place with your reading excuse me guys let me reground myself <laughs> but we started your reading kind of in your vibration and i was wondering where's the person that's coming in here they are <laughs> this is such a beautiful new person pisces i don't think that this is going to be an ex at all um i don't think you know this person and if you know them you haven't dealt with them romantically for a lot of you you haven't even met this person okay um they're coming in does that make sense something about them is very different to your usual type but i think they have to be because your usual type put you in those eight of pentacles uh, where you had to work on yourself i think because you've worked on yourself you've let go of those old energies and now who comes in as someone completely different to what you possibly were expecting it's almost like if you usually dated caucasians um the person that's coming in might not be caucasian um if you dated surfers the person that's coming in is an accountant does that make sense if you dated accountants the person that's coming in is a surfer um but whoever this person is it's like they're so in alignment with you pisces it's like it's not even gonna matter because they're just gonna warm you up on from the inside out but the reason they're warming you up from the inside out is because you've done the work and there's enough space for them to pour into you does that make sense pisces i hope i'm making sense but this is so powerful i just don't think that you're able to anybody any star sign any human is able to manifest something those this powerful until they've done their healing until they've done their work and pisces you've been doing it 
I could feel it from the beginning of the reading. It's just this powerful, but also independent energy. I keep getting this re like energy that you're not even looking for love. Not that you're opposed to it, but you're just like, if it happens, it happens. Right now, I need to get my business started. If it happens, it happens. But right now, I'm trying to lose weight. If it happens, it happens. But right now, I'm going back to school. Does that make sense? It's like, it's me, me, me in the least selfish way. And that's the energy that brings this beautiful person in. Someone that's going to be about you, 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 because you're about you in the most highest vibration i think that's it pisces i love it i love it i love it x or next i think it's the next but to be honest i think you're what's next you in your highest vibration good stuff